Hi guys, welcome back to uh, part three of our engine strip. Again, there's no point doing a big introduction. We're just going to crack on and get this thing in bits. Uh, I'm going to whip the pistons off, which should be, fingers crossed, quite straightforward. Uh, and then we're going to split the cases. So the dodging pin clips should just be a twist and remove. Come on. Oh, well, it was till I dropped it. There we are. A pair of those. Now, these are proper citron pistons, so they should push out. The aftermarket ones are often a bit tighter, but the citron ones are normally okay. But it won't. Okay, so we're going to have to use the drawing method again. Let me just find my bar. Right, different bar from last time, just for the fun of it. Slightly stronger than the old one. So that will act on the gudgeon pin, which will pull through into the hole created by the large socket. So let me just tighten that up. And of course this will impart no sideways movement on the crank at all, which is what we want. Right, that should just wind down now. That will do. Right, there we are. They will go away and be cleaned up. The gudgeon pin is very clean. Pistons are good, like I say. I'll have to check ring gaps and things. Right, I'll just do the other side and then bring you back. The other one off. So now we need to loosen these, take the oil pump cover off, and then start undoing some of the case bolts. And also take out the uh, oil pressure release and that sort of stuff. But I think that's it. So we've got those two. You only actually have to undo one of them for the side you're taking off, but I'll undo them both. And in our oil pump cover, 12 millis. Oh, that one's not very good. There we go. Right, still yet more oil dripping out. Give that a gentle tap. Yet more oil. That looks nice, clean. Yeah, nice and clean. Right, we'll leave that for a minute till the, the cases get split because that'll pop out easily then. Right, so while we're here, I'll just undo that 11 milli so I don't forget. Otherwise, I'll when I go around doing them, undoing them, I'll forget that one's in there. 
I mentioned in previous videos, that if you're young, you're, well at any age really, but if you're younger than me, because to be honest it's a bit too late for me, you should really wear uh, gloves, because used engine oil is full of very, very unpleasant stuff. So whilst we're here, we might as well finish off the last few bits. Now that should just be a gallery plug, I think, if I'm right. But who knows? I could always look at a workshop manual, of course. But that would be far too simple, wouldn't it? Yep, gallery plug. And that means on this side, as expected, should be some sort of oil pressure release for that. And it is. Oh, a loose ball. Whereas the later engines, of course, had the uh, sleeve. Right. Okay, so I think we can start undoing our case bolts. So we'll have the little ones out first and then the four big ones at the end. So top one, that's gone. There's one down the bottom here. Tucked away in there. Not quite so tight. Struggling to get the washer off. Right. And then the others are on the bottom. Let's turn this up this way. And yet more oil. These are silly tight. Seems a bit stuck this one. There we go. Right. So that should be all the uh, small ones. And you've got two big ones there. Two big ones there, which we will do now. 17s again. Wow. Oh. I'm not sure an old band should be doing that, but there you go. That was tight. I'm not sure they're meant to be that tight, to be honest. Right, and two more hidden away in here. There's no way this should be that tight. Very clean though. No corrosion on them. 
This must have come from a, one of the warmer bits of France. Right, so we shall uh, prop things up a little bit on this side. And if we've remembered everything, which I think I have, we can gently tap this apart. And then, if I just, can you see that? Bring it up a little bit more. Yeah, you could hear the note change instantly. So if I just move you around a little bit, it's coming apart. If you recall in the last video, I couldn't get this to come out, and that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to slide like that. We should look at that more closely later on. So that's what's meant to have happened. That stays on the crank. The two will be reunited the minute I get the crank out, uh, because these things should be kept together. Right. Uh, continue with our tapping, shall we? I think we're nearly there. And there we go. Right. Now, there's our seal out. So instantly I've spotted a problem. Let's just bring you in. And we shall have a look. There's our cam, and the lobes are great. Nothing wrong with them at all. Lovely condition. Not a mark on them. And we know our crank's okay. And our bearing surface doesn't look that bad. However, one of my tappets has fallen out, which again is very good. Right, where was I? Yes, I just noticed then there's quite a lot of end float on that crank. Which isn't right, is it? See, that should be about there. So why is that moving? You expect a bit of end float, but that looks about quite a lot. Right, further investigation needed. Not what I was expecting. Right, okay. I cam this out. There's our oil pump off, which again is lovely. Cam's good, cam bearing's good. No nasty marking. Nice clean case. Lovely cam followers, not a mark on them at all. Our oil strainer. Just needs a good clean out. And then our crank. Which is a little reluctant to move. There we go. Right. Everything looks nice and clean and not hammered out. There's no 
If the crank's been hammering, you'd expect it to damage the faces. But it hasn't. OK, I'll have to give it a right good clean and have a think about what's going on here. And I'm also going to have to get, obviously, uh, a puller. <laughs>